Hi, in this video we'll be discussing the problem reverse first k elements of a queue. This problem previously has been asked in companies like Amazon and let's read what the problem says. So basically the problem says that you will be given an integer k and you will be given a queue of integers. We need to reverse the first k elements of the queue leaving the other elements in the same relative order. And we can use the NQ operation, DQ operation, we can use the size and front operation of the queue. So basically all the basic operations that are there in the queue, we can use them. And what we have to do is we have to basically reverse the first key elements. So suppose that we have been given a test case where what we have been given is, let us take the sample example quickly. So suppose that we have been given the sample example that is number of elements in the queue has been given as 5. Okay. And after this, we have been given the k value as 3. And the elements of the queue are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So what we need to do is we need to reverse the first k elements. That is we need to reverse the first 3 elements of the queue. And they should look like 3 and then 2 and then 1 instead of 1, 2, 3. And rest of the elements should remain in the same relative order. So 4, 5 should remain intact. This is what we want to achieve in this problem. Now how can we solve this problem? So basically if you will see, so when we had 1, 2 and 3, so we had to reverse their order. So we had to make it 2, 3 and 1. So is there any data structure that we know that can reverse this for us? Obviously, if let's say we had 1, then 2 and then 3, if I can remind myself about a data structure that is stack. So what happens in stack? In stack, firstly, if 1 was there, then I would have inserted 1. Okay, then when I come to 2, I would have inserted 2. Then when I come to 3, then I would have inserted 3. And when I will take out the element, so stack follows the concept of last in first out. So the elements, uh, element that enters last, it comes out first. So 3 will come out first. Okay. Then after that, 2 will come out. Okay. And then after that, 1 will come out of the stack. So you can see that the order gets reversed. So if I want to reverse, so for that, I can use the stack. Because stack has the property of last in first out. This is very clear. So now let's try and uh, dry run this again and see what we can achieve. So basically, as I said, if we are given five elements and we have been given the k value as three. So three times the first three elements that are there in the queue, we have to do what? We have to pop them out of the uh, queue and we have to insert them in the stack. That's the first job. So what we can do here is let's say we have this queue. So let's say we have this uh, queue here. Okay, and inside this queue we have 1, uh, 2, then we have 3, then we have 4 and then we have 5 already given to us. Right, now what we can do is we can also declare a stack at the same time and for k number of times that is uh, k elements will be inserting inside the stack one by one we will pop them out of the queue. So what will happen here is where, uh, the very first element will be 1 so I'll take it out put it in the stack then the next element that will be popped out of the queue is 2. Then the next element is 3. 3 will also get popped out. And since I've performed 3 operations, so 3 elements are there inside the stack now. After this, what we need to do is, we need to push, like after this is done, so obviously we can understand that when we'll take out the elements, so the elements will uh, come in the order 3, then 2, and then 1. So basically, we cannot insert anything at the starting of the queue. Okay, because first in first out concept is applied in queue. So we cannot insert three to one in the starting. So what we have to do after this is that again, like whatever is the size of the stack, all these elements that are there, we will insert them inside the queue. So what will happen is we'll insert three inside the queue. Okay, then after that, the next top element is two. So we'll insert two inside the stack. And then after that, the next top element is one then we'll insert one. So we'll insert, we'll keep on inserting until the stack becomes empty. Now once that is done, so you can see that if, uh, how many remaining elements are there? If total three elements were there, uh, which I wanted to reverse, so remaining are two elements, that is four and five, and I want them at the back. Okay, so now the queue looks like what? The now, now the queue is basically uh, four, five, then three, and then two, and then one. So I want that these two elements that are there, they should uh, go at the end because three to one, uh, because if you want see the final order that we want is what three to one and then four and five. So now we need to remove these elements from the front of the queue and we need to push them at the back. So I will take the front element out of the queue. So how many remaining elements are there? Remaining elements is nothing but n minus k. n minus k is basically what? Five minus three is basically two. So for two times, we need to pop the front elements out of the queue and we need to insert them at the back of the queue. 
okay so we need to basically push them inside the queue so we'll pop four out and we'll push it at the back okay uh, we'll push it inside the queue so it will get inserted at the back then after that we'll pop out the next element also that is five and then it will also get inserted uh, in the queue at the back so basically now the queue will look like what now the queue will be basically uh, three and then two and then one and then four five and this is what was expected from us so you can clearly see what we did first was uh, we like whatever queue we had okay we first of all all the k elements starting k elements we inserted inside the stack and then all those uh, elements that are there inside the stack we inserted them inside the queue and then the remaining elements that are there okay that uh, the remaining element is basically n minus k number of elements we popped them out and then we inserted them back inside the stack and this is how we are able to achieve the queue that is three then we have two then we have one then we have four and then we have five so this is how this problem can be solved and that is why it has been asked in Amazon because it requires a little bit of knowledge about the last in first out concept as well as the first in first out concept of the queue data structure. Okay, so let's quickly try and code this problem up and see what we can do here. So basically firstly, I need to declare a stack, let's say stack int st. Okay, and then what we will do is we will uh, say that firstly firstly let me take the size of the queue so n is equal to q dot size so i'm taking the number of elements that are initially there then after this what we will do is we'll run for the first k element so i start from one i is less than equal to k okay and then we'll do an i plus plus so what we will do is uh, basically we need to take the elements out so let's say int uh, x is equal to q dot front so we'll take the element out one by one and we'll pop these elements out of the queue okay and then we can insert them inside the stack so uh, st dot push x so we'll push the elements after we have pushed the elements then what we are going to do is uh, after this uh, all the elements that are there inside the stack we need to insert them because as you can see if i'll do the dry run once again so basically initially inside the queue you had one two then you had three then you had four and then you had five right now what happens here is that k value was three so three elements have been inserted inside the stack that is one is inserted two is inserted and three is inserted all these three elements have been inserted now uh, and one two three have been popped out as well so now we need to push three inside at the back of the queue okay then we need to insert two then we need to insert one also so we need to pop the elements one by one out of the stack and we need to insert three to one at the back that is a that is the second thing that we need to do so what we'll do is we'll say that while the stack dot empty is equal equal to false so if the stock stack is not empty and it is containing some elements so what we will do is i will take the top element out of the stack so i will say that st dot top uh, so this will give me the top element and then i'll pop this element out of the stack okay once i pop it out so i need to push it inside the queue so i'll push it uh, this element inside the queue and th that is how three to one will get inserted at the back of the queue okay now once this is done then after this, uh, what is the next thing that is required? So once this has been done, then we can see that the uh, the queue will look like what? It will look like four, five, and then three, two, and one. So if you will see number of elements were five, okay, and the K value for us was given as what? K value was given as nothing but three. So we need two elements. Uh, we need to run for two elements and we need to pop them out from the front and we need to push them at the at the back okay so basically how the remaining number of elements is how much n minus k so for these elements we need to pop them out from the front and push them at the back okay four also and five also then the queue will look like three two one four five okay so let's quickly do this in terms of code as well so what i will do here is i will simply say that the number of remaining elements uh, will be nothing but n minus k and then we can run it from int i starts from one i is less than equal to remaining and then i plus plus now we'll get this element so let's say int x is equal to q dot pop uh, q dot front so i will first of all uh, get the element from the front and then i'll pop it out okay and then we need to do what uh, we need to insert we need to push it at the back of the queue so i will do q dot push and after this our queue will be ready where what will happen is the first k elements will look like reversed elements and the remaining elements they will remain in the same order as they were originally inside the queue uh, let's return this queue because the return type of the function i think is q okay and let's see if it is working on the sample test cases or not okay so there is some mistake uh, regarding colon i guess we need to have a colon here 
okay now our code is working fine so you can see that our code is working fine now uh, for the sample test case let's try and submit it and see if it gets accepted or not so you can clearly see that our code was able to pass in the uh, very first try itself okay so in case if you have any doubts regarding this question you can ask me in the comments and uh, make sure to hit the like button thank you for watching this video